the things. Can you guys guess what we're about to go do? We got two stealth cam uh, 4K. What do they call these? The DS? Yeah, 4K. DS 4K? DS 4K. I always get that mixed up. There's like G everything, DS 4K. So anyways, we got two stealth cams and I think a G42 maybe? Martin and I are together here at the house and we're about ready to go do a trail camera run mostly for BMAC and his little hunting zone that he's he's gonna want to hunt this year with uh, for his archery tag. He is out fishing or on a family vacation I don't know maybe a combination of both and he, he dropped me some pins on Onyx where he wants three cameras so me and Martin had time this week we're like heck yeah drop us the pins we'll cruise the e-bikes up and go set them for you. That's what we're about to do Martin says he's dying of thirst what do you say you want to put an ignite together? Yep, I'm going ignite in the hush bottle. Dude, this stuff is like gold, man. I've been out of this for so long. This is our hush lemonade. It's like a signature series flavor that we collaborated with with Mountain Ops. This thing do not last long. So Martin's gonna hit one of those here. So this is the beast. I call it the beast. It's the hush truck. It's my old Chevy that I got redone. It's a 99, my buddy Davey. Uh, put a ton of work into it and helped me do all the plasti dip and got me wheels and tires So we're taking the beast today. It does have AC. Thank goodness. We're gonna need that But uh, there's Martin with the goods It's been a minute since I've done the lemonade I've been kind of on a per The blue Raz kick really I've been on a Liberty pop kick, but now look at that flavor as, just... fall, as fall gets closer and we need the good luck, we go with the Ignite and yeah. Lemonade. Look at that, just absorb. We got one e-bike. We're going to stop at B-Max to get uh, another one for Martin. And we're going to buzz up the canyon and go do this. You guys come with us. Let's go. Let's go. B-Max is living that residential life up here. Honestly, this is one of my favorite areas. You'll see like some houses are like the og houses of the neighborhood like this and then you have like super brand new houses so it's like a really cool mixture but we're just pulling up to b max to grab the bike we'll get the rambo bike and i want to show you guys his freezer he's pretty proud of his meat organization skills oh yeah wonder what other goods we can find in the garage does the bike have a charge for the M Chag? He got brand new shocks on this one. Oh, whew. You see 0% at first? It's got 93%, so okay. we're money. These stand up freezers. Gotta love the way B Max. So organized. Trays and trays, meats on meats. Your loin steak is out of hands, out of arm's reach. Ooh, look at all the sausage. Or meat sticks. It's been holding out on it's us. It's been holding out on us. Anyways, guys, this is B Max Place. We're gonna load up the bike and head up the canyon. We have some uh, GoPro, so we'll get a little footage of the trail ride. It's super pretty today. Start. It's gonna get hot as soon as we're up on those south slopes. So let's go. Dusty on the old lens there, B Mac. This is the way I'm setting up my ride. I've got this nice little cargo bag on the side of the bike. I'm gonna put all the trail cameras in there. Most of the weight for the stuff I'm taking is the batteries in there. And then we got some snacks. Um, I do have my binos I'm gonna throw in there. I got my Yeti with uh, some mountain ops. This is how you get the shots. Little GoPro gripper. Put it on wide angle. We'll get some shots on this for you guys. It's a fun ride, like I said. We'll put some of it maybe in a time-lapse mode and just show you. It's pretty riding through the pine trees and the quakies.
a bumpy ride, Chag. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Holy smokes. Now we put down some boot tracks and it's getting hot already. So we're just gonna use a little cable lock to lock our two bikes together through the spokes. That's kind of what we do when we stash them. That or lock them up to a base of a tree. There's always something cruising around. We probably should have done this earlier in the summer, but we are running behind when it comes to the scouting side of things. And for me, that's because I went spear fishing instead. <laughs> Let's go. Oh man, it's so fun. Probably hunting those deer in the high country with a rifle though. little push feels good to uh, open up the lungs a little bit I think we're on the tail end of this lavender looking wildflower probably was better a week ago but it's still pretty a lot of wildflowers yellows pinks purples and blues <sighs> almost up there This is the uh, first patch of pines that BMAC sent us a pin to put a trail camera in. Decent little bedding area. I wouldn't be surprised if we had to bump out a few deer out of here. I'm going to look on my Onyx map. That's what's fun about Onyx. You can share waypoints, text message, emails, a lot of different options there. We'll make sure for you BMAC, we get your trail cams right where you want them. <laughs> it's Freaking hot in the sun right there. It feels so good in the shade. We'll take a break and uh, get a drink up here too. But the first cam is just above us. So what Brian did, see there we are. What Brian did is um, put the model of the stealth cam he wanted. So he wants a, a 4K cam right there. We'll just walk right to there, find the best trail and set it up. Welcome to the dark side. Man, as soon as you hit that tree line, look at all the beds. BMAC had cameras here last year, and I can tell by this waypoint that he created the waypoint August 22 of 19. So I'm guessing he wants it in the same zone, which is like right in here. Tons of trails. It's gonna be a good spot for a video mode. So many options like bed after bed after bed pretty good trail down there though huh what do you think yeah i would say where they pinch down there maybe yeah all right this tree it is so martin if you go right there the view of the camera will be there's kind of a few trails that funnel the right here but this will be the main one just a big old buck just right here on stealth cam in 4k so we'll set this up and we'll double check his settings just in case and make sure the card is formatted and ready then we'll give it a couple samples and we'll watch them on my vlog camera yeah look at me <laughs> that's my crap i've been on camera <laughs> <laughs> That's the big buck I oh shoot. <laughs> what we're testing it for is just frame. So we know it's good. BMAC wanted on video. I can't view the videos here because they're in 4K and this camera is not capable. So a couple things we're gonna do is format this SD card. Then we're gonna put it back on video mode within the custom settings, just like BMAC had it set up. Then we're gonna throw a lock on it. And we're gonna Go move on to the round two. Yep within the mode you're going to go to pir video but you can see you have combo time lapse photo and video so just hit video 30 second delay 
QHD video resolution and a 25 second video. So this one's ready to go. So hopefully to detour anybody from messing with it or stealing the camera. Doesn't always work, but at least it's something. Snack attack. Break time. <laughs> Feels Look. so good in the shade versus that sun. You can get cold sitting in this shade, huh? And there's like a 20 degree difference probably. I mean, that's why the deer are in here. I brought a beef stick that I got at the gas station. I got some too. Oh yeah. These we got to make good. some of our own like we did last summer. Those are so good. Mountain up bar. Doesn't feel melted. I'm going to go with my peanut butter bar. Yeah. You guys haven't tried these yet. You should. They sell them singly or in the box. And as usual, we got a hush code for all things Mountain Ops. Give you free shipping. Go check it out. So on top of that, I've also got some cashews. That's to be paired with the meat stick. So a quick snack break, rehydrate, and uh, we'll get up to the camera. Location number two, which is straight above us. BMAC wants it on the saddle. Than this. Oh, this is, Look at that. This is wild. We're following the, the pins. No wonder he sent us up here. He didn't want to climb. What we got? Uh, we've located somebody's tree stand set up. So if this is you, you know where you're hunt, hunting now. Um, where is it? But honestly, there it is. Fairly common to find tree stands trail camera boxes um, up in these mountains sometimes they're like mega old like I found a tree stand once that was just in the grass you can see that the nylon straps were so old that they got weathered and it fell off and there was poles it's been there for four years now and I keep saying if that tree stand is still there because it's functionable if it's still there this year I'll hang it and I just never have but I always like to go check to see if it's there that deer was bedded like deer, right at the base of his a, tree. A deer jumped up like 15 yards in front of me. I don't know why it let us get so close. It was a two point, but it was right at the base, like Martin said. <laughs> That's like the OG trail camera box of all time. Look how big that thing is. It's the size of a laptop now. <laughs> so they obviously had that for security. Try to see if anyone was messing with their stand. The first thing I noticed was those pegs. Big, big drop off yeah, if you fell. Jason, yeah, they tumble. <laughs> you would be a sad I'm, man. I'm curious if anybody watching, I mean, I'll wreck it. If anybody's watching that uses that don't feel free to hit me up in the dms again not like we're gonna mess with it or anything but always nice if you can work together with other hunters to avoid avoid like ruining each other's hunt somehow but yeah that deer was like bedded right there it got me coming down pretty good height yeah for right there is <laughs> my stance man how about so it got me there and then the delay for the next one was a little longer than normal huh like there 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 it's kind of nice a little, yeah a little slower delay slower delay once again card custom menu format card Yes, we're gonna lock this one up, guys. We're getting work done today. Something might have bedded right there, huh? Yeah. Maybe hidden. I think B Mac got in on some bucks bedded right there last year. So 
cam number three, the last cam going down here. But dang, it's deep. All right, location number three is kind of tough for us to decide. There's only scattered pines through here and no major trails like the other spots where it's like, okay, this is a, a mega trail. Once they get to here, we've kind of decided they're just feeding in this open basin. So we're going to put one on this tree in hopes to get deer bachelor group of bucks just feeding out through this uh, green grass and these wildflowers. That's a big old tree. Might have to go around, huh? Yeah. Help you feed it. Yeah, maybe this elevation. I think we got it. Hopefully the master walk is that long too. Got it guys. Right before the prevailing winds. So. Uh, yeah, picked up right there, didn't it? So guys, this is key to number three for record for ourselves. P117 goes to box three. Um, but that's it from the high country. We're gonna pack up stuff and honestly bomb down the mountain on the e-bikes because we have so much to do. But one last reminder, all stealth cam items site-wide 30% off with the Hush discount code, which is huge savings. If you guys need to pile up on a camera two or more, Hush code gets you 30% off. Check out, they have SD cards, master locks, pretty much everything you need to run trail cameras effectively. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. The hunts are coming quick. I think it's like two, two and a half weeks. And we'll have we'll be up here with bows in our hand and a tag that says we can shoot it a buck meal deer so anyways thanks for watching hit the subscribe button catch you guys on the next video mm -hmm.